got a question for you. Have you ever had a good idea on the drums? You're like, oh man, this is really cool. You're like, you know what? I want to video that, that I could upload and you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you start thinking, uh, man, by the time I not only play it, but then take all the SD cards out of all the cameras and transfer all the video files to the computer and then import them into my software and then try and line everything up and sync it and make sure everything's good and then get the auto, audio and sync that and then I'm gonna change angles, I'm gonna go here and then this one and then go back here. You're like, man, forget it. If that's you, this video is for you. So that was me up until this past year um, when I did some upgrades right here. Uh, I was using Camtasia and any drum cover you ever seen me do, it was at least two hours afterwards of actually playing, two hours of actually editing in the thing, doing all that stuff I just mentioned. So. This past year, um, I ended up getting, uh, talked to a couple different folks, but I got the bottom line, I'm using the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, and this is the game changer for me. What it did is now I don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. All four cameras, which I got this one, this one, that one, and the foot cam, and they are all plugged into the back of the ATM Mini Pro ISO, and they are all recording to this SSD right here. It's just a 500 gig, and they are time-coded and synced up, and it also creates a project file for DaVinci Resolve, which is now the video editing software that I'm using over there to put everything together. So once I play something, I hit stop right there, this little button, take it over there, plug it in, everything synced up, and I, which is that's what I'm going to show you. So basically, I'm calling this video "How to Make a Drum Video in Under 10 Minutes." This video is not going to be 10 minutes. This is going to be a little bit longer because I'm talking and explaining stuff. But the final product, like when you have an idea, or if I have an idea, if I do a drum cover, I'm literally taking it and going to do what I'm going to show you with screen recording. Um, and that's it, man. It's ready to upload, good to go. So without any further ado, what I'm going to do is play. Um, just for about two minutes, which you're going to see that at the end and along the process. Um, I'm going to edit that out just so I'm not playing it twice. But I'm going to play, then I'm going to take all this over here, go to um, there and uh, show you in OBS. Uh, I'm going to screen record. That's the screen recording software that I use. And I'm going to have the project file open up in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to literally edit a drum video, two minute drum video and show you the process involved. So without further ado, I'm just gonna make something up, not even really sure. So we'll do that and th that'll be what we're Okay, so here we are. I am now sitting behind the board and going to show you what I do. I come over here, first off, I check the audio. The first, you know, over three minutes is actually me talking. That's what all this to the left is. Uh, this is what I played, which, uh, yeah, just over two minutes. Um, some kind of three, four thing I came up with. Um, and what I do is just check the audio, make sure everything's good. Uh, in this case, I know I've already got it the way I want it. I made check, uh, tweak with some of the reverb and stuff because, you know, I forget where I had it last. But I know the overall sounds, the EQ and all that is what I've been using for a while. This template is actually from the camera eye video that I did earlier this week. So it's those sounds. So just to let you hear a little bit, and this is again with the reverb and everything. And like right here is the snare reverb and right here is the room reverb, which is basically, if you wanna see what I got plugged into it, I got both kick drums, the outside kick mic, and basically all the toms and the gong drum. So I can choose how much of those I want to have reverb, and I can choose how much of you know the snare top and bottom I want to have reverb. So um, just to kind of show you that real quick, if I wanted to take off some of that reverb, well, if I want to take off all of it. So that's pretty much drive. I take these room mics down. That's pretty much the raw sound. Or not, well, raw with effects. That's pretty much the 
Um, dry sound, that's the word I'm looking for. But I can add all that. And I can add the snare or the room reverb. And then lower that back. Anyway, just to kind of show you how you can screw around with this kind of stuff, you know, in your DAW. And it, it's personal preference. I like the reverb, but again, it depends on the song. Um, I'm not going to get too carried away with explanation on that here. But um, anyway, so what I do once I get everything the way I like it, I export it um, into a WAV file because that's a better quality. And that's what I drop into, um, what do you call it, uh, DaVinci Resolve. So let me tell it what I want. Basically, I want to go from here to there, throw that up again, and I'm going to tell it between the loop, which is what I just did, so and it's just going to start exporting that. It may clip a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, it's probably not going to do, but it, you know, it's doing pretty good with all the effects and everything. It's doing about seven times faster than the actual thing. Here's time remaining. So while it's doing that, I go over to Finder. I'm still learning all this Mac stuff, but uh, I go over here. And this is like, this is what's on that um, ATEM SSD drive, I call it. Uh, and the one I just did is this. So I'll double click that. It brings up all this stuff. And what this is, this is the magic right here. This is the project file that it just made. See that DaVinci Resolve project file? Um, the four cameras, that's the one over the hi-hat that I usually am looking at. Uh, this is the overhead, this is the gong drum side, this is the foot cam. So there's my audio files done, that's what it just told me. So what I'll do, I will double click the project file, it's going to open it up in DaVinci Resolve. Here it comes. What I do is I take the foot cam video, drop it in there, I take the left side over the hi-hat one, drop it in there, overhead, drop it there right side I drop it there and what I do those top four which are the ones you saw in that finder is I right click on them and the second one down uh, create a multi-cam clip so only things I mess with right here the frame rates already 30 the cameras are set on 30 all the GoPros um, I set it to sync by time code because they all got their time code thing I'm not sure how it all works and I do it by clip name that was just easy for me to see. I tell it create. It's going to create it. There it is. This viewer side, I'm going to put in multi-cam mode, and then I drag this over here. Actually, I mean down here. There we go. So there's my three angles. I look like an old guy talking. All right, so I'll do that. And then I will take the foot cam. Whoops. I'll take the foot cam, that's number four, and I'll drag it down here as well. Since I know I've had requests for, hey, let's see the foot cam. I'm like, all right, cool. I can do that. And I'm going to delete these audio files because I don't record any audio to the GoPros or the um, Q2N. I just, uh, I just don't. I got the, the software. So it brought that up. It's going to be the mix down folder. I'm going to take that file it just did, drag it over here, drop it, and then I am going to drag it down here in one of these audio things, and this is where I have fun syncing it up. All right, so over here is where I started playing. So what I do is I find basically quiet. All right, that's going to mess with me. I just need to see where I first hit which is right about right about there. So what I do is I click this and I'm using the right and left arrow buttons. Looks like that's probably it. So then I take and drag this over here, take the audio file and then I start zooming in on it. And what I want is to sync that first hit up with, 
where it looks like the audio starts of the drumming. Do a little bit more. That's pretty close. It's not always exact. Sometimes I got to be a little bit ahead, bit ahead of it, or a little bit behind it to make it look right. So let's just see what that did. Hey, there's the foot cam because I dragged it. So from there, let me get that out of the way a little more. I'm going to completely drag this. I'm just going to test. I'm going to see how that looks. That looks a little bit behind, so I'm going to drag it the other way. I think this is the other way. The other. I think that's decent. So now I'm going to look at everything and I'm also going to bump it up a little bit. Okay. So let me add this foot cam, get this pretty much synced. I'll click the magnetic thing again. That kind of helps me line them up. Okay, so I think that's good. I think I'm synced. So what I do from there, I know that this is all me talking. There's no sense in having the foot cam up. And also what I do while I have this foot cam on here, I click this and this is what lets me do that. Drag it down to just a small thing, rescale it, I drop it on the corner, somewhere around there. And that way, okay, so that's basically what I do with that. So now let me go back and I can see me talking. Hey, bull, if that's you, this video is for you, and it is. I said, no joke again, this takes longer than 10 minutes because I'm explaining everything, but when you're in it, man, you can get this done quick. So, uh, from here, this is where it gets fun. This is where you know, this is me doing the playing part. So I'm gonna basically play through the entire two, two and a half minute thing I did. And on my keyboard, let me go back over here to multicam. So my keyboard, up on the number row, I've got one, two, and three. That's basically this, this, and this. And what I do in real time, I let it play. And as I think it needs to change you know, angles, I will hit one, two, or three, depending on which angle I want it to see. You get, kind of get used to it, it's not a big deal. Um, but again, this is another reason I really do like the Mac because I tried this in the PC Man, it was a 32 gig, you know, SSD hard drive and all the stuff. And it could not handle this. Like it was so choppy. I was just getting mad, you know, and up here, once I'm playing it, you'll see a uh, frame rate. There it goes at 30. Once it gets going, it's, it locks in, it stays at 30. On the PC, man, it was eight or maybe 16 if I was lucky, but it would not do it. So anyway, that's why I got the Mac. And again, this is the Mac mini uh, with the M1 processor. So um, I'm gonna let this play and I may make some comments as I'm going, but basically I kind of do it almost like a song where after, you know, if it feels like the verse or the chorus or whatever, or if I know Phil's coming up, I'll change the camera to what I think it should be. And then I'll show you once I'm done, how I can go back and like even fine tune those things even more. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. Drag this over just so it's, I don't have all the stuff on the, or me talking on the one side. Okay. So I'm going to hit uh, play and then I'm just going to be, as you're seeing the screen change, your camera angle change on this side. Uh, that's just because I'm hitting one, two, or three from this right here.
I call it the Quake Cam Earthquake. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you go back and check any of this, I'm gonna go back here and just hit play. Watch the change. See, it remembers all this. And if I wanted to, because I noticed one at the end, I didn't remember what I was doing at the end. Um, if I wanted to, because I did go to the right camera, if I want this cut right here to go be a little bit sooner, I. I'm holding it and dragging it, and it's showing me um, what it is and what it's going to be where. So it's showing me, all right, I'm going to come around the toms there. Let it go. Let's just kind of see what it looks like now. I'm going to check it again here at the beginning. The sink is what I'm checking. Okay, looks all right. And then from there, um, once I get it the way I like it, which, you know, for this, it's pretty much, pretty much it. I will kind of clip some of the edges here. Do that. I think it's when I looked over at the camera, whatever. Nope, get off there. Take these two. Everything's synced. I could put a little fade on it that's over here. I might be too far out to do it. I uh, might need to zoom to do that. No, I kind of did it. Although that's the foot cam. So let me do, let's do a little fade at the end right there. And I can drag that for whatever I want, blah, blah. And that looks like this. So there's my fade. If I wanted to add words, that's this left lower third thing here. I could type, you know, whatever and tell what I'm doing there. Now it would let me take this title and the sample sample title and tweak it you know i can do whatever from there so anyway, i really like this program um i'm not going to do that but and turn this inspector back off show you the whole thing but that is the entire you know process so what i do from here is i um uh, export this or i think they call it render so i would go from you know, once I get everything the way I like it, let me check my lip sync. Take it over there, plug it in, everything synced up. Looks like it's synced up. Checking the volume of the vocal versus the volume of the drums. I think that's decent. So from right here, and I'm gonna do it real time, um, is I export it or render it, basically give it a name. I'm big on copy and paste, so I'll go back here. Let's see. Copy. Paste it. Get rid of that little end. Location of where I'm saving it. I got my other SSD, which is right here. Um, and then I will take that same name. I think I've already got it in there. Yeah, I do. And I'll hit save. So then I'll add it right here to render queue. And I'll hit render all. And what it does is it's actually creating the video file. Um, if you're curious, you can see some of the settings over here. You know, QuickTime, I don't understand a lot of this. It's just what works. The H.264, uh, it's 1920 by eight, uh, 1080. <laughs> um, whatever all that stuff is. So, but it basically goes through the whole process. Uh, and it's fast. Again, this Mac is flying. Um, on the PC, even with the 32 gig, it was taking me four times or whatever the length of the video was. So if I got a 15 minute video that I'm trying to render, 
dude, it's going to be an hour before it's done. On this thing, this is, I think it was five and a half minutes total on just this. And look, I'm already 60 some percent done. Um, what I'm going to do after this, yeah, I can't touch any of that stuff right, right now at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into OBS. That's my screen recording. Hey, there it is right there. It looks like infinity. I will hit stop recording and it's going to also create a, a video file that's basically everything you know screen recorded so i'm going to trim up the, the front and end because you don't want to see this in the final but i'm going to dump that on the end of this and then re-render you know a complete video and that's it so with this part right here again you can see why it's you can do the entire thing in under 10 minutes depending on the length of your video you know if it's a song 10 to 15 minutes you know if you want to get fancy with the zooming in on stuff and transitions and all that kind of stuff. Obviously that's going to take a little bit longer, but once you get it, man, it's just fast, a lot better than two hours. So again, I just, I like this and it's what's making me, uh, where I can do a lot more videos recently. If you noticed, I've got a lot more coming up or being uploaded and it's because of this stuff. So that way I can get stuff to you if you like it. So we are about done. Let's see, this will probably be about no more than two minutes that it took on a five minute video. Let's see, complete two minutes and 12 seconds. There you go. So yeah, three to four times faster than the actual video time of what it takes. So, and again, I can go back and uh, check it because there's my project files. DaVinci finished today. Open that up. Hey, boy. All four cameras, which I then I'm going to. So that's the final video, what I just put together over here. Uh, that was playing in quick time. So there you go. I'm going to add the screen recording at the end of this, and that's it. If you got questions, comments, you know, suggestions, all that stuff, leave them below. And I appreciate you watching, and hopefully, you got something out of this. Um, Make some videos.